Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Hydraneer. We are checking out a new game, a uh, new game to the channel, that is, not necessarily a new game. I think this game has been out for a year or so now in early access. I have played it a little bit, um, maybe for an hour or two here and there throughout the course of me owning it, but I thought we'd go ahead and do ourselves a playthrough of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop our way into a new game, and we're already there. So this purpose, this game, the purpose of the game, is to mine for gold and gems and iron ore and things like that. Um, and you can see we're starting here in the Ember Cradle. So there, there we are. There's our start. Um, so we start with a lamp and a shovel, and we'll use the shovel to eventually put dirt into this bucket here where we add water and take that brush, get rid of the dirt, and uh, we'll find our gems and things like that. Also got a map, and we can do a little bit of a tour here. Um, you can see where that blue dot there, uh, and there's different towns and different mining places we can eventually work our way to. So let's go ahead and put this back down here. This was new. I hadn't seen this before when I load in, loaded in. Little hand cart uh, that you must be able to put stuff on and store in. We got a hell of a hell of a jump. We can hop right over that. We also start with a vehicle over there, a little uh, little tractor truck thing. And there's a little shop right here we can buy some basic supplies from. Um, the money you put in that bucket there. Let's go around this fence. Here we go. Put the money in the bucket and you click the button after you put your items that you want to buy on here. And uh, there you go. You can carry them and put them back. So let's hop on into the game. Um, not sure how far we'll get with this, uh, but I wanted to check it out since Christopher N. requested, and I uh, figured why the hell not. Someone asked for me to do it, um, and we will uh, do a good job on it. Um, there we go. Can't drop the shovel sometimes for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and bring this bucket here. Put that right there. And then we're going to... Actually, let's fill it up with water first. Do, do, do. Okay, so you drop it in the river, you fill it up with water, bring that there, and then we'll bring our little bucket down. So we need to fill the little bucket up with dirt, and I think it's four shovel loads with the basic shovel to uh, get the bucket full, and it keeps falling on its side. There we go. So let's grab our shovel here, and let's start right here on the edge. You can kind of see where the diggable and non-diggable dirt starts and ends and then it's one shovel load two three and four there we go four shovel loads to load the little bucket and then we grab it and then let's go ahead and drop our dirt into that so that was four shovel loads of dirt plus water then we come up here and grab our brush and scrub a dub dub twice and there we go looks like we've got an uncut ruby yep uncut ruby and some iron ore down in there so that's a pretty good start and then we're going to do that over and over and over again until we can start to automate this process it will take us a little bit of time to build up some money but that's okay down in the comments below, let me know if you're playing Hydraneer, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, how your mining is going, any tips and tricks for me as I start to, to, to play this game. Like I said, I've played it once or twice for an hour or two here. and It wasn't my, my favorite game to play, but, um, oops, and as you can see, sometimes your dirt just misses. So let's pick that up and drop that clump of dirt in there. Fantastic. And then we'll grab our... Oh, okay. Drop our gem there. Um, grab our bucket, fill it with water here. Bring it back down. A lot of this early game is just kind of this repetitive process of getting everything ready. And we got quite a bit of iron there, so that's good. Um, so again, down in the comments below, let me know how I should set up my mining operations. Any tips or tricks for me would be much appreciated. Uh, also again, still looking for audio commentary or, um, you know, what your thoughts on my commentary are, the audio, video quality, things like that. I am playing it on medium graphic setting and it's, it's pretty good. There's not any choppiness or anything like that. I tried to run it on mm -hmm. the high mode and it just, my computer couldn't handle it. So we are in the medium setting. So we kind of can balance the good with the bad. 
Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to check out uh, any of my other video series. Meeple Station is still running and we are uh, getting some plot twist. Uh, by the time this video releases, we will have met Mr. Uh, Mr. Science and he will have, ooh, we got a gem there too. So gems are kind of the power parts of uh, Hydraineer here. Uh, anyway, so Mr. Science has, we, we've, um, try not to give you guys any spoilers, Basically, we are in the Savin system, or not Savin system, the Sofen system, and we have discovered a massive temple, and we are trying to get ready to power it with the help of Mr. Science. So, there we go. That was some poor commentary right there. Definitely let me know down in the comments how much I sucked at that. All right, so this bucket is nice and filled, and then we're going to go ahead and dump it in here. And then let's go ahead and fill this up with water and brush off. And I think we'll go ahead and take what we have and go sell it and get ourselves a little bit of coin here. Drop this on the ground. Brush, 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 brush. Got ourselves a little stack working in there. So let's grab this uncut ruby and drop that in the bucket. So then when you want to go sell, you know, we can go to a couple different places. Um, you can go up the hill here. There's our little sign so we can go to the jeweler or we could go to the stock market um, And there's a couple different locations throughout the map that have both um, So let's head up here to the jeweler Stock markets only take certain items and the prices go up and down the jeweler will have a set price for each item I believe so we can get 53 coins. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of coin here and there we go 53 coin let's throw it in our oh he didn't buy the gem that's okay so there we got 53 and we can head down to the little shop and see if we can buy something we might not quite have enough yet um but maybe we can get like the advanced shovel or maybe another um bucket or two to kind of store some of our stuff in so let's go ahead and grab our coins there and we'll put it in this bucket so now we can buy 53 worth of stuff. So these are 12 each. What's the gem wheel? 126. Brushes, little pails. Here we go. Improved shovels. Uh, 78. So we don't quite have enough for improved shovels. So that instead of taking four, it takes two, I believe, um, to fill up the, the pail. Uh, eventually we'll get a smelter and some hammers and anvils to craft gems, lights to light our way so we can work at night, some water pipes so we can bring water up from the little creek, foundations to build housing or just a level and flat area for us to use, mining helmet so we can light our way at night. How much is a bed? 43. Um, okay. And these are five each. So I think eventually we'll want to get some of these wooden foundations and put a bed on top of it. Let's go ahead and go and do a little bit more mining, see if we can get another 50 or so coins and then we can buy a bed and some foundations to start building our little uh, little house on. So we'll drop that there. And then let's go ahead and dig up some more dirt. Now I think as you get deeper in the dirt, you get richer soil. So you'll be able to get bigger, bigger hunks of gold, bigger gems, things like that. Um, but obviously we gotta kinda start up here as we fill up or work our way down you know we can't just go straight to the good dirt go ahead and drop that take this up here and get a little water in it and then uh, let's go ahead and brushy brushy again and see what we got and oh well, that's a, a decent amount right there and the shovel again and we keep just keep digging just like dory instead of swimming we're digging um let me know what other games you want me to keep working on. Uh, Meeple Station will be ending here, I don't know when, but I would imagine we're in Act 4 already. And I think it's on 16 or 17 episodes right now. So we've certainly played a lot of the campaign, really enjoying it. But that will be, whoa, we just glitched through the dirt here. See if we can get out. There we go. That was, uh, that was interesting. Dump the dirt in there. Um, so anyways, you know, let me know if there's any other games. I'd like to kind of keep two games going on at once on the channel just to make sure we give everyone, uh, you know, what they want. And we're providing that great content for you guys. So let me know down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this up. All right, what I think I'm going to do is, do I want to go buy another bucket? No, let's do one more load of dirt, and then we'll go sell this pile and get ourselves about 100, 100 coins, hopefully. Okay, there's two shovelfuls. There is a glitch um, where you can, and I'll show you here. Let's pick up some dirt. All right, so if we put this dirt down, it actually creates more dirt than there originally was. Um, so you can actually kind of create more dirt for yourself to, to dig up. Now, I don't know if anyone's done any metrics or anything on it to see if it still produces the same amount of gold or whatever, but that's just a little thing to know. And we get some water in this. Bring this back up. And there it goes, it's stopping moving. Scrub, scrub, scrub. All right, that looks like that's quite a bit in there. So let's grab this piece of gold, throw it on in. And for whatever reason, the gold went through the pan. Let's grab it again, drop it in. We'll wait for it to settle before we pick it up. There we go. All right, let's go back up to the jeweler and sell all this and I think that should give us about a hundred or so coin and maybe we can buy ourselves a, a bed. It is, um, there's a day night cycle and it looks like we're just past noon maybe. Uh, so we can sleep at night and then wake up and have, ooh, this is only 33 coin. Yeah, we're already up here so we'll go ahead and sell that. And then we'll pick up our coin here and drop that in the bucket. And then back down the hill we go. So anyways, there is a day-night cycle. Having a bed allows you to sleep through the night, so then you can only you can mine at night. It's just sometimes harder to see. So if you don't have uh, lamps up or if you don't have the mining helmet, it makes it a little more challenging. So definitely in this early game, going to want to have ourselves a bed so we can just sleep through the night. All right, and let's drop that coin there. There we go. So now we should have 87 coin. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a bed. So we'll get some wood foundations. Let's put one here. And that too. And then the bed. Huh? That's not gonna let it put us down. All right, let's go ahead and buy the wooden foundations for 10. Great, and we'll grab one. And we'll walk it all the way over here back to the ember cradle. And I think if we huh? hit Q, or is it? Uh, there's okay. So if you right click on the mouse button, you go into the build mode, and let's um, let's just put our bed over here. So we'll drop a wooden foundation there, and then we'll go back and get the other one, and then we'll buy the bed, and we'll have ourselves a little little bed set up, and walk all the way back. I'm assuming there's a more efficient way if I were to use the hand cart or something like that. But for this, I'm just going to do it by hand. There we go. There's the second foundation. And then we'll come in by the bed. All the way back over here. Such a long and arduous walk. Uh -huh. All right. Drop the bed, uh -huh. my friend. There we go. All right, 43, and we have 77. So let's go ahead and purchase that. And that leaves us with 34 coins. So we still got a little bit. I think next we save up and get ourselves the improved shovel. So let's go ahead and put our cot down. There we go. And our little bed is set up. Look at that. We are moving right along. How fun, how fun indeed. So let's go back and grab our pan. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go, show, go ahead and show you guys some things around here. So there is this little cave right here and it looks like you're coming into a temple and you go through, and obviously there's some sort of door there, um, but there's these four pedestals over here. And from what I have understand are there's objects buried in the dirt that you can find and then put on the pedestals, and then that door will open. I don't know what's behind the door, but there's certainly something behind the door. Over here, there's a little graveyard. And again, I haven't looked up exactly what these names are, so if you know, leave it down in the comments below and let everyone know what all these different names are. We've got um, whatever that says, and works by a Hearst, and Fizzle, and Itchy Beard, Envy, 
Uh, I'm assuming these are like alpha testers or snaps might be, you know, maybe some developers, things like that. Again, let us know down in the comments below if you know who those people are. Uh, like I said, I'm guessing alpha testers or developers. Over here in this little town castle thing, there is a stock market that you can sell certain things to. And it looks like the prices are way down. Looks like they buy gold bars, iron bars, cut gems, and fish for those prices. And, oh, there's the scale. So there's scales you can buy and you can put your object on there and it'll tell you what it's worth. If you come into the little castle, there's a small little shop that sells repair items. Um, so you can buy a tool bag, just a regular old spanner, or these water filters that will protect your pipes and they won't wear as fast. So that's uh, the little area we got around here that is within quote unquote walking distance. I guess everything's within walking distance, but some of that other stuff we were looking at on the map, it's a little easier to head over there with your tractor. And this is our tractor. Take ourselves a good gander at that. All right, hello, Mr. Tractor. All right, so let's go get ourselves some more dirt and hopefully some more money indeed. And we're going to come back and you can see the shadows are starting to get a little longer, getting a little darker out there. Let's actually go get our water in this first. Fill that up with some water. Fantastic. And we'll put that back down there. Shovel, shovel. There you are. Uh, that bucket's on its side. Put this back down. There we go. And shovel. And let's go ahead and get some dirt in that. And then more dirt there. All right, we are chugging right along here. And there's four loads of dirt. Fill this guy up. And it rolls out. Good thing I'm not playing basketball because I would not be very good at it. Drop our dirt in there. And scrub a dub dub. Oh, we didn't get that much in there, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and do one more bucket of dirt and then I think we will go ahead and get ourselves some sleep here because it is getting dark and as you can tell it's a lot harder to see. You can just kind of throw the shovel in there and grab dirt if you want but that's um, you know not conducive to making sure you're getting all the dirt and you're not leaving anything behind. Okay and dirt into there. Oh god I'm 0 for 2 so far. That's embarrassing. Could not hit this pan if I tried to save my life. Okay, so that is filled up, and we come up here, drop that in, come over here, drop that down, grab the brush, scrub a dub dub twice, and there we go. So we got, looks like a couple gems in there, maybe a piece of iron, still got that crystal in there that eventually we will use to power some of our machines. So let's head on over here to our bed, and we will get ready for bed. Thank you so much for joining me in our first day of Hydraneer. We didn't do a lot, but we kind of established the, the baseline of the game, what to do, how it works, things like that. Got a little bit of money, got our bed ready to go. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment on down below, uh, both on what you think of Hydraneer, if you got yourselves a mind going, how I should start to develop my mind. Also, please comment on my video quality, audio quality, commentary quality, this was not a good commentary video, I will tell you that. So let me know how I should fix that. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for joining us today in Hydraneer, and we will see you in the next Hydraneer video.